We do want to get information out to all the folks on the island of Oahu, and particularly the folks on the north side of the island, where we're seeing very, very huge uh, wave heights. We want to make sure that everyone is safe. In fact, the whole reason we're holding this press conference, we want to make sure that everyone gets in and out of the North Shore area safely, gets home at the end of the workday, or gets out to go to their work um, in the coming hours. Um, we are concerned because of what we're hearing firsthand from our lifeguards, from our EMS, from our, our ocean saf safety folks, and they're telling us they're seeing extreme wave action. Right now, we, have, we do have park closures. We have Haleiwa Lee Beach Park is closed. We have Haleiwa, Haleiwa Beach Park is closed. Sunset Beach Park is closed. Waimea Bay is closed. Makapu Beach Park is closed due to a broken up boat, about an 18 foot broke, has broken mooring, has washed in waves there around 10 to 15 feet, you said, Mark. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very dangerous situation. We're continuing to monitor other places around the island. Out on the west side, Makaha, we have sand coming up on the roads, and the state, Ed Sniffen, is here, the director of highways. His crew is doing an incredible job both on the west side and, of course, on the north shore, getting sand and rocks off the road so people can drive. But the roads are closed out on the north shore. And the reason we're doing that is to make sure that only those who need to get home can get through to their homes or get out of their homes to get to work or other places. And of course, our city buses are running because many, many people, 225,000 uh, rides every day, and many of those guys use the bus to get home or get from home, both from and to the North Shore. So we want to thank everyone who stepped up at the last minute. I mean, Ed Sniffen stepped up. We gave him a call um, around 1 o'clock and said, this is what we're hearing. Can you help? The state stepped up immediately. Par uh, police, uh, Honolulu Police Department stepped up. And we don't want anyone to have a sad story to report tomorrow. Paul Ed Sniffen from Department of Transportation, Highways Division. Um, as the mayor had mentioned, the roadway between uh, on Kamehameha Highway between Haleiwa and Turtle Bay has been shut down. We're restricting access to those people who absolutely need to be there. Residents, people who work there. Um, if you don't need to be there, we, we request that you stay away from the area. Um, HPD is looking at is setting up roadblocks to ensure that peop only, only people who have to be in the area can get through. Everybody else will be turned away, so please avoid the area if you don't need to be there. Please go slow, be careful, and if for some reason you don't feel it's safe to go, turn around. Don't keep going if you're afraid of the waves crossing the road. So we're seeing getting reports of that. Some other things, you know, we are, we are <coughs> losing potentially some of our lifeguard powers, I understand, from the wave action. And we were reported right here at this beach house that the retaining wall has collapsed. And you see there's not much land between the wall and the house. Um, we're going to be monitoring that. We assume that there could be damage at other properties along this, um, this area. And if people have information, we ask them to please call emergency management to report it so we can keep track. And of course, we'll be helping any way we can. And so we ask people just to use extreme caution. Be very careful. Tune into your stations. Read the paper. Be prepared.